Hello and welcome to the third of Let Go and Renew Yoga Flow series. And today we're gonna do a little slow flow and twist and turn into each and every vertebrae and into the hips and into the shoulders. But mainly we are focusing on twisting our spine into a letting go and renewal and feeling uplifted and bright and rejuvenated after this practice. So if you like and are in need of twisting out your spine, then this practice is for you. I invite you to roll out your yoga mat, bring in two blocks, and it's always nice to have a strap handy by, and I'll meet you over on the yoga mat. Namaste. So let's take our hands behind us and pinky finger can be touching the outer edge of the yoga mat. Feet on each side of the mat today, and maybe just lift up and sit nice and tall. Slight bend into the elbows, and we're going to drop the knees down to the left side and come over on to the left hip and up and over to the right side. So just our normal figure fours, but seated version to start to really move energy in and around the hips. And we'll start right here with another few side to side to side. And maybe there are some spontaneous adjustments in the hips. Maybe there is some spontaneous arrangement into the spine just by dropping the knees side to side. And we'll do one more each side. Inhale and exhale. And then from here, we'll come to a seat to bring the feet onto the mat, hands around the knees. We sit nice and tall and then we roll down vertebrae by vertebrae. And you can hold your fingers or keep your fingers to the side of your thighs and we roll down vertebrae by vertebrae and stay right here. Take the palms onto the mat, adjust your shoulder blades nice and flat underneath you. Feet flat, knees to the sky, right ankle over the left knee for figure four. And we'll stay right here, inhaling and exhaling. Sacrum is down, lower back is slightly lifted, abdominals are toned. Take your left knee into the chest, hands around the belly of the hamstrings, and press your hands into your hamstrings and hamstrings into your hands, and karate chop your right ankle into your left top knee. And then from here, we'll stay here and enjoy our figure four stretch. So this is a kind of a push-pull version. It is hugging the hands into the hamstrings and pushing that left leg into the hands. And we'll stay here for another two breaths, inhaling and exhaling. And maybe we're moving it around a little bit to see how it feels. And then slowly release and switch to the second side, taking the left ankle over the right knee, supine swan pose, figure four, hands around your right hamstring, belly of the hamstring, I like to call it. Now, if the hands are not long enough and the arms and you needed more, then you take your strap and just double it up and hold the strap around because we just start wherever we're at and then we'll just go from there. Press your left ankle into your right knee, sacrum down, inhale and exhale, Give ourselves a few breaths right here. Sacrum is on the mat, lower back is lifted. Inhaling, exhaling. And then from here, we'll release back down and take the feet on each side of the mat. Arms out, cactus, drop your right knee to the center and come up and over to the second side. Same as when we were sitting up, windshield wipers. Tone the lower abdominals, stretch into the side of the waist. Start with some really nice, easygoing, accessible twisting and releasing. Full letting go in the hips, in the spines. With each inhale, we inhale all new, fresh oxygen, energy. And then we exhale anything stale and letting go of anything stored in our hips, in our lower back that does not serve us. We might know exactly what it is and we might not know what it is. And then the universe will know what it is and help us to let go of it. And one more breath here. And then slowly take the 
feet together, hands down to the side, and half happy baby. Right arm inside your right leg. Take your right foot up to the sky and the left leg can straighten. And then here we have half happy baby. Opening up into the adductors, hamstrings, groin area, into the hamstring area, inner thighs, grounding that left leg down. And we might even put the left hand onto the left hip and stay right here for a moment and enjoy inhaling and exhaling. A few breaths right here. And gently bringing it back in. Hug your knees and switch sides. Put your feet down. Take your left hand arm inside your left leg, left hand outside of your left foot. Straighten your right leg. Put your right hand onto your right thigh, hip area, and help that hip to stay down so we're not tipping over to the side, but staying nice and organized hips and shoulders, just like we talked about in the previous class of let go and renew when we stacked our hips and our shoulders for a nice release into hips and shoulders. One more breath right here. Spread your toes, extend, extend, hug everything in and extend organically out. One more breath. And slowly release. Take your knees into the chest. Hug it all the way in. Happy baby pose, both legs. Arms inside the legs, hands outside the feet, sacrum down, lower back slightly lifted, nice and tall, neck, press the head, adjust the shoulder blades. A few more breaths right here. We'll do a little side to side to make sure that that sacrum area is nice and organized. And then slowly, knees together, hands underneath the knees, and then we roll our way up and cross at the ankles and come to tabletop, please. Spread the fingers, second finger forward, claw the fingertips, knees and hips are stacked, tuck the toes, arch the belly in, big wide cat arch, big wide spine opening, and release the head, release the neck, maybe even move the neck a little bit here. And then plug upper arm bones in, extend out through the top of the head, not collapsing the spine, but toning the abdominals, and extending from there, mobility into the spine. Inhale and exhale, top of the head towards the mat, and inhale, not necessarily dropping the spine, but just lengthening and extending, raising the sacrum. We'll do one more, hollow belly in, massaging organs, massaging spine, massaging all the muscles. And then from here, we'll come into Tabletop neutral spine active. Take your right arm underneath your left and come up onto your left fingertips and come into twisting into the shoulder, upper body. We'll feel it all the way down to that right hip. And we'll see if we can come to the side of the right head area, like even maybe even behind the ear and pull that right shoulder forward with integrity, with holding on to the muscles at the same time. Take the gaze underneath the left upper arm and we'll stay right here a few breaths, twisting and turning into that entire right upper back, latissimus area. Inhale and exhale and slowly coming back up and switch to the second side. No fancy transition. We are just taking the left hand underneath the right arm and coming down onto your left side of the head, left shoulder, pull that left shoulder out, give a little extra push with your right fingertips, pull the belly button in, and you feel a nice big full elongated stretch on the left side of the body. Maybe even up towards the neck, behind the ear. We'll stay here for another three breaths, inhale and exhale. A few more breaths right here and gently release and coming back up spreading the fingers arch the belly hold the abdominals and lengthen away from there into your tabletop tuck the toes and come to your downward facing dog with bent knees so we are yes pushing the floor the mat away and lifting up buoyantly from there put your right heel down pedal your left heel down as the heel goes down on each side we can also bend into the left knee. 
inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale. Few more breaths right here. And let's walk our feet over to the hands. Take a nice little walk over. Inhale, long spine. And exhale, fold. Bend into your knees so that your hips and your ankles are stacked. Inhale, two more times. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, each and every vertebrae. And exhale, hinge and fold. From here, bend your knees, take your hands around your ankles, bend your right knee and straighten your left, take your left hand to your hip. Twist and turn into your forward fold. And rooting that hand onto the hip, stretching into the left leg and taking the left arm up to the sky. Shoulder blades down on the back. Take the gaze up to the thumb, inhale and exhale. A few more breaths right here. And exhale, release. Take your left hand down, bend your left knee, straighten your right leg, right hand onto your sacrum, twist and turn into the upper body. Take the gaze up towards the sky and then taking the right arm up. Forward fold, twist, inhale and exhale. A few more breaths right here. And exhale, bring it all the way back down. And take your hands to your hips, elbows to sky, root the feet, and root your feet down and come to standing. Hands to heart. Exhale, release, bend into your knees. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, hinge and fold, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, place your hands, step to plank pose, please. And from here, roll your way over all the way into your full plank. I know I said plank and you're probably already there. So let's hang out and play. Now we're going to do five push-ups, and you are welcome to stay here with your knees lifted. As for me, I'm taking my knees down and maybe you do too and cross your ankles. Elbows into the side and we'll warm up into the chest by giving ourselves five push-ups. Or maybe it's one. Maybe it's plank. Maybe it's on the toes. And then from here, we tuck the toes back under and come back to our plank and lower all the way down. Hands on each side of the mat. Stretch your legs back and inhale. Pull yourself forward and up. Take the ears back. Inhale and exhale and slowly take yourself back down. From here, we're gonna take the right arm out to the side. Palm is flat. So palm is flat this way, but it goes over to the right side and shoulder stretch. Palm is all the way down. You can kickstand your left foot behind you and inhale and exhale right here. Enjoying a shoulder stretch, letting go and releasing and renewing any stagnant energy in your right shoulder, chest area, lung, circulatory system, neck, breath, all of that. One more breath right here. And exhale, come back on onto your belly. And let's take one more cobra. Inhale, raising it all the way up. And exhale, taking it back down. Take your left arm out to the side, palm facing down. And then we'll come over onto the left side. Kickstand your right toes behind you. And the left head can come down. Left side of the head can come down. Twist and turn into your upper body and by kickstanding we are certainly twisting into the lower body as well nice and gentle maybe there's some adjustments some release in the hips by adjusting the shoulders adjusting shoulders adjusts hips and knees and ankles it is all related one more breath right here and exhale release come back onto your belly hands by shoulders cobra one more cobra lifting into your low medium high whatever cobra feels good for you shoulders back ears back chest forward and up stretch the front of the belly and exhale bringing it back down hands by shoulders come on back into child's pose big toes together knees apart and gently coming all the way up onto tabletop tuck the toes Downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. 
press the palms to lift the upper arm bones. Few more breaths right here. Inhale and exhale. Step your right or left foot, like I usually say, just any other feet, step forward so we can face each other and come to forward fold, feet wide apart. Prasarta Padottanasana. From here, hands onto the mat and we'll do our shoulder push-ups, shoulder shrugs, upper arm bones into the upper, into the shoulders and releasing and renewing into the upper back. One more breath right here and one more shoulder shrug and then take our right toe slightly out and the right elbow into the right knee. Flip the left heel down and the left toes up and we'll stay here for a nice big full stretch and opening up into the thighs and second side, left elbow into the left knee, right heel down, toes up. Another breath here, we'll take it up and over one more each side. Right foot down, left heel down, toes up and up and over. Use your core to lift yourself up and over as you support yourself with the hands. And slowly coming all the way back up hands on the mat take your right hand onto your left chin and take the left arm up to the sky big wide open gentle but still very very deep twist at the very same time hug the inner edges of the feet towards each other and switch take the second side left hand around the right shin ankle take your right arm up shoulder blades to the back hug the inner edges of the feet together equal one more breath and exhale release and then from here take yourself into downward facing dog any direction down dog inhale and exhale come forward to plank pose shoulders and wrists are stacked we have another five push-ups here and as for me i'm taking my knees down and crossing my ankles elbows into the side five push-ups front support arm strength and a whole lot of determination. Let's do two more. Maybe you are doing 10. Maybe you're doing one. Maybe you decide to lay onto your belly and then slowly tuck the toes under and we'll come back to plank pose. So lower all the way down. Come to your cobra, inner shoulder to outer shoulder, pull the ears back and exhale, bring it back down. Take child's pose, big toes together knees apart press the palms lift the upper arm bones and pull the belly button into the front of the spine very active child's pose pressing palms one more breath right here to make sure we get into that lower back and then slowly come all the way back up tuck the toes and exhale into downward facing dog come up onto your toes Bend your knees, plug the femurs, take a step or a hop over to your hands. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold. Take a hand in each and elbow. Your feet are hip widths apart. And we get to do rag dolls, swinging a few back and forth, a couple of no's, a couple of yes. Release the neck, the head. Inhale and exhale and slowly hands to hips, elbows to sky, and squeeze your shoulder blades, root your feet, rise on up to standing, and release the hands down. Inhale, arms to the sky, and exhale, hinge and fold, Uttanasana, forward fold. This time around, we'll bring the big toes together, and I also am gonna ask you to gather your blocks so that you have them close by for Okay, lifted, twisting variations that is coming up. Um, put the blocks close to your, uh, next to your feet and on the side of the mat. Hands on the blocks, heel of the hand on the block. Spread your thumb on one side and your pinky on the other side of your block and step back to downward facing dog. Now we have our arms almost as tall. Well, for me, for sure, as tall as my legs. Um, press the palms, lift upper arm bones. Step your right foot between the hands. Come up high into your back toes. Adjust your left hand, squeeze everything in the midline. Take your right arm up to the sky. 
for a nice big wide twist. We start wide and then we end up closing it, crossing over the legs. And switch to the second side, come to down dog in between and left foot between the hands, right hand, middle of the block, pull the belly, squeeze the adductors, left arm up to the sky, shoulder blades down on the back, inhale and exhale and slowly release, taking it back and step back, down dog. I like to put the heel of my hand on the edge on the block, but to also at the same time distribute the weight evenly onto my hands and onto the blocks. Step your right foot between the hands, squeeze your glutes, your inner thighs, hands to quad, come to standing high crescent lunge. Inhale and exhale. Take your hands to your heart. Take your hands over to the right shoulder and then take your hands over to the left shoulder and then take your hands to the heart. And for the twist that's coming up, we'll keep the hands at the heart as we have gotten into the twist. Take your right hand onto your right thigh, left arm up to the sky, bring the rib cage in, take your left elbow to your right outside of your knee. Maybe you hike it down a little bit, then hands together. Usually we end up with the hands by the shoulder. So see if you can take your hands to the heart that we just tried standing tall. Maybe the gaze comes up to the sky. Inhale and exhale, soft eyes. One more breath and exhale. Release the hands, the gaze, step back, downward facing dog. Come from down dog to plank three times to even out our twist. And inhale and exhale. And let's do one more. Down dog to plank and to down dog. Left foot between the hands. Take a little pause. Squeeze everything we have. Hands to the left quad. Lift nice and tall on the back foot. Take our arms up to the sky. And then hands to the heart. And take your hands to the right shoulder. Take your hands to the left shoulder. And then we'll take the hands to the center. And keeping that center and the placement of the hands, if available, when we twist over. Right arm up to the sky. And then we'll take the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Twist and turn. And palms together. And maybe the hands ended up at the left side. So let's take it over to the right side. Inhale and exhale. A few more breaths. Maybe the gaze comes up to the sky. Squeeze the adductors. Palms together. Hands at the sternum. One more breath. Exhale, release the gaze. And release the hands. And step back to your downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale. Come to plank. And come back to down dog. And we'll do two more to come into the nice front and back side. Inhale and exhale. Let's do one more and exhale. Taking the right foot between the hands, coming to Trikonasana, left foot nice and even, and the left arm comes up. I'm gonna pull the block in so the shoulder and the wrist are stacked. So pull your block in slightly so that your right hand and your left hand is stacked above and below each other. Trikonasana. Inhale and exhale. Right foot is forward, left foot is back, left foot is parallel to the edge of the mat. One more breath right here and exhale, gaze down and then we'll take it all the way back down. Adjust your blocks and step back. Down dog, downward facing dog. Press the palms, lift the upper arm bones and come to left foot forward. Trikonasana, take your left hand down and your right arm up. So adjust accordingly so that we do have our wrists and our hands stacked above and below. Bring the floating ribs in, take the gaze up to the sky, shoulder blades down on the back, inhale and exhale. Squeeze everything we have, a few more breaths, and exhale, release, hands down, turn your hips, adjust the left block slightly more forward and step back to downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Lift the upper arm bones, inhale and exhale. We'll do another three plank poses, just to kind of let it go and renew 
anything that we might have opened up with that trikonasana pose and then we'll take trikonasana into our twist so here we go step the right foot between the hands come to parasvottanasana to start with which is um front foot forward back foot slightly turned up like 20 percent barely 10 percent and from here we turn our hips forward we might even take that right thumb into the hip crease to push that right hip back and inhale long spine and root down the feet activate our arches and find the four corners of the feet nicely organized now from here take both hands onto the block on the right side outside of your right foot and ankle leave your left hand take your right hand to the sacrum twisting and turning Parvita Trikonasana maybe we'll stay here with our right hand on the hip maybe we'll take that right arm up to the sky and take the gaze up towards the sky and we inhale and exhale a few more breaths right here squeezing and letting go in all parts of the spine one more breath exhale release bringing it all the way back and stepping back downward facing dog let's take that right leg up into the sky bending the knee up here and giving it a couple of turns external rotations knee down and out to the side and then extend your leg and let's put it back down inhale and exhale step your left foot between the hands and first we'll come to parasvottanasana which is the front foot the left foot is forward and the right foot is slightly turned out hands onto the blocks take your left thumb into your left hip crease and adjust so that your hips and your shoulders are neatly stacked below and above horizontally right now inhale and exhale a few more breaths and then take both hands over to the left side block outside of your left shin ankle squeeze the midline take your right hand onto the block left hand can come to your sacrum and maybe we'll stay here maybe that left arm comes up to the sky inhale and exhale shoulder blades down on the back take the gaze up a few more breaths and exhale release bringing it all the way back down and stepping back downward facing dog take your left leg up to the sky bending your left knee and circling dropping your knee down and up and down and up and down and up and slowly extending your leg and stepping it back down come on to your knees please and we can take our blocks to the side and from here come back into tabletop and downward facing dog Adho Mukha Svanasana. Step your feet to your hands, please. Inhale, long spine, and exhale, fold. Take your hands behind your head, bend into your knees and lift your sacrum. Feel a little taller than your lower back. Hips and ankles are stacked. Spine is releasing. Spine is letting go. Whatever we have in the spine that maybe we needed to adjust, I'm hoping that most of it has had a chance to realign hmm. one other breath right here and then we're going to exhale release the hands and we're going to come into a yogi squat into malasana heel slightly turned in toes slightly turned out and then we're going to come down to a seat right here hands can come to the heart and we can stay right here inhale and exhale we'll stay one more breath plugging our femurs, releasing lower back, rooting and grounding, and then taking our left hand down to the side, taking our right arm up to the sky. Nice big angle, nice and easy, gentle twist. Not maybe easy, but it is accessible one way. Maybe, maybe we're sitting on the block, maybe we're sitting on a chair. We can take that left hand down and the right arm up. You can also internally rotate to your left arm and take it behind your left leg and go and find your right feet.
fingers and wrist and twist and turn, taking the gaze up towards the sky. Inhale and exhale, releasing the right lower back area, rearranging the right lower back, opening up pathways that maybe we did not even know was there. Letting go and renewing into the lower back, each and every vertebrae, lumbar spine. One more breath and exhale, release. And then from here, palms together at the heart and we'll stay here. And then taking our right hand down, palm down and left arm up to the sky. The hand can stay on the knee. The hand can come up to the sky. Inhale and exhale. If it's available, we can turn that right palm in and find the hands behind, hands, fingers, twist and turn, and accessing the left lower back. Inhale and exhale. Sitting in a yogi squat on a block is perfect. We don't have to do anything else. That's a big release. And if we have maybe something softer under the seat, then maybe there is more release into the lower back and the tailbone area. One more breath right here. Inhale and exhale. And slowly bringing it back down and releasing, taking the hands to the heart, grounding your feet and extending hand in each and elbow, forward fold, Uttanasana, ragdoll version, and release the hands. Step into downward facing dog, please. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Taking our feet wide as our mat, press the palms, lift the upper arm bones, maybe even walking the hands in slightly. And we're more like in a very wide down dog and kind of short with the hands. Um, come up onto the fingertips, take your right hand on the left side of the shin and ankle and do a nice wide releasing twist. Inhale, exhale. And gently bring it back right fingers down left hand down outside your right shin ankle and bring it in inhale and exhale and gently come back to the center walking your hands forward walking your feet back taking a nice big wide adho mukha svanasana downward facing dog and coming forward to plank lowering all the way down inhale to cobra, inner shoulder to outer shoulder, and exhale, bringing it back down. Tuck the toes, tabletop, downward facing dog. And then from here, take our right leg up to the sky, externally rotate, and we'll get to bind this class together where we ended yesterday with pigeon pose. Let's take the right leg underneath for pigeon, sitting on a block or onto the floor, karate chopping, or on a pillow, karate chopping that right pinky toe down onto the mat, palms together. Inhale and exhale right here. We'll start right here and we'll see how it feels. Extending out the whole spine from the seat, from the tailbone, out to the top of the head, ears and shoulders have lots of space. Now, the next, if you would like to do a twist here, Come up on your left fingertips and take your right arm underneath and coming onto your right shoulder and the right side of your head. And inhale and exhale. You can take your left hand behind you and we're still onto that right hip. We're still onto the right lower leg and we are super active, hugging in and hugging in. And another breath right here. And exhale, release. Left hand down, right hand down. Tuck the back toes, use your core, hoist your right leg back, pedal about to walk about, and inhale, exhale from here. Take your left leg up to the horizon, to the sky, externally rotate, hold on to the lower abs, squeeze all the muscles into the midline, and then take the left leg underneath for pigeon, on a block, on a blanket, whichever works for you. And then we'll come on to the forearms and palms together and extend out through the seat, out to the top of the head, tuck the back toes under, karate chop your left little toe side, inhale and exhale. 
extend and extend and extend. And if you would like, you come up onto your right fingertips and thread your left arm underneath and come down onto your shoulder and onto the side of the head. And maybe that right arm comes behind you and thread underneath your left thigh or above on the adductor side. And just stay for three breaths or so here. Inhale and exhale. One more breath and exhale. Release arm to the sky, hand to the mat and to make it all the way back up and tuck the back toe, use your core, the power, come into downward facing dog, come forward to plank pose, lower all the way down, inhale into cobra. Maybe we lift our way up into one up dog to release and renew into the hips into the lower back, lifting, lifting, roll over your toes and come to downward facing dog. Press the palms, lift upper arm bones, come up onto your toes, bend your knees, look between the hands, take your step over to your hands, inhale, long spine, exhale, fold and take in your seat all the way back down and just like in the beginning, sit nice and tall, heels down toes up to the sky. You can take your hands around your legs or you can take your arms forward and roll all the way down. Inhale and exhale. We'll take our arms up and over and we roll back up and we'll do this five times. Rolling, rolling, rolling. We can take it nice and easy and kind of massaging out the spine and using the front side the deeper layers in front of the spine muscles and not letting our hip flexors do the roll for us. Inhale and exhale. I think we have like two or three left or something like that. Let's keep it going. Inhale and exhale and rejuvenating the spine after our twists. Inhale and exhale, exhale and inhale. And then we'll end up onto the mat and bringing our knees into the chest. Take our legs into tabletop and then cross the right high up onto the left and come to upward facing Gomukhasana. Sacrum is down, lower back slightly lifted. Activate your legs, your ankles. Take your right foot onto the mat. Lift your hips and come over onto your left outer hips. Take your arms into cactus and twist over to the left side or the entire right side of the lateral side of our body. Really the IT band, knee, hip, rotators, lower back, middle, upper, up to the shoulder area, up to that inner shoulder. One more breath here. And slowly bringing it back up. Take your legs and undo them. Come back to the center and take your legs back up to tabletop and left leg high up onto your right and take your hands around your ankles or your legs or bring in a strap, anything that we might need. Sacrum is down, lower back is slightly lifted. Inhale and exhale right here. And slowly release, put your left foot down, take your hands into arms into cactus, press the head, adjust your shoulder blades, lift your hips and come over onto the right side and drop your knees over to the right. Releasing, renewing, letting go into the left knee, hip, lower back, middle and upper, all the way up to the chest, to the shoulder, to the armpit. Inhale and exhale. And another breath right here. And then slowly bringing it all the way back, undoing the legs. Come on to your back, bring your knees into the chest, hug everything in towards the midline, inhale and exhale. 
and a few more breaths right here and then we'll come back to where we started with the feet wide on the mat arms cactus drop your right knee to the center left knee out to the side windshield wipers inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale and we'll do one more each side and then come back to neutral knees into chest hands around the um, hamstrings you can roll to the side and come and have a seat or we can roll up and have a seat and we'll come to a seated figure four leg drop as well feet on each side drop your knees down side to side to side inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale and massage it into hips into lower back certainly knees and ankles as well one more and then we'll come back to a seat and take our legs forward and arms up to the sky and bring the rib cage in and hinge and fold Paschimottanasana forward fold you can take your hands by the hips by the knees maybe this is plenty maybe the hands can come to the big toes or the sides of the feet spread the four corners of the feet inhale long spine lift your sacrum up and away and elbows to the side and extend the top of the head nice and tall closing our practice together One more breath here and slowly bringing our weight back up and come to a comfortable seat on the block please. And we close our practice together by taking a seat to steady ourselves, to just taking a few moments to sit, to let all the different places that we twisted and turned have a chance to just let go and having a chance for the rebound effect of new energies coming back into us, letting go and renewing. We sit nice and tall. We might even bring the ears back slightly, bring the elbows back and maybe the chin down and the breath is coming and going nice and easy. And we'll take three nice deep breaths together, inhaling, and exhaling all the way down to the seat exhale 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 pushing the air out anything stagnant and then we inhale 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 to the top of the palate and exhale 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 pushing any air out and inhale one more and exhale and coming back to natural breathing, just your own rhythm of breathing. Taking a few moments to sit together, savoring the practice, letting everything fall into its right and whole place. This is where the letting go takes place. your hands together in front of the heart if you like to join or if you like to absorb you simply listen for our closing ohm take a comfortable inhale Whoa. so much for joining me for this let go and renew slow flow twisty practice and I appreciate you and if you want somebody else to do this practice with you please feel free to forward the video hit a like subscribe all those things to help me grow my channel and also to help others find this kind of 
uh, practice that they might be looking for here on YouTube. So thank you so much and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a great day. Namaste.